So we're here talking with uh, Anthony Harris at Acme Wood Turning. Hi, Anthony, tell us uh, the philosophy behind your pregnant guppies, you call them? Pregnant guppy? Yeah. This probably this shape. I don't know, I don't see another one. Oh, this shape. These are, uh, they just have enlarged uh, shanks. Uh, I turn them on a lathe. Try to keep the wall uh, less than an eighth of an inch thick, so there's a fair amount of room in there. I find that probably uh, 60 to 80 cubic centimeters is as small as you want that chamber air chamber to be. And what's the purpose behind the air chamber? The air chamber does two things. Uh, one is it uh, cools stuff off, but it also uh, removes the moisture from the smoke. Um, I think it. Uh, when you get the focused smoke that hits your tongue and it's still hot from the bowl, that's where, at least personally, I get tongue bite. And so when you can get the smoke to uh, dissipate inside the chamber, it cools off and, it, and that's not as uh, bad, at least for me. What does it do for the mechanics of the pipe? Well, uh, it doesn't change it. I keep the, uh, I drill the pipe fairly open so that it's, uh, it never draws hard. Um, Try to keep the uh, the draft hole. The draft hole is about, I guess, it's about as long as my finger is wide, and the rest of it's just all chamber. I make the stems out of two pieces so that uh, uh, when the wood gets moist from the smoke or heats up, it expands, mm -hmm. and so this piece has to screw in a little further in order to seal. So that's threaded. Oh yeah. And if this is all one piece, then your stem also ends up going too far. So you make it out of two pieces so that you can make that adjustment. All right, so what's your favorite piece? Uh, I like, what I like. well, I like this, but I also like, like this one. This is a Captain Warren. They don't, uh, I don't, they don't see them made anymore, but it was uh, common in the 1900s. And it has a uh, briar bowl and functions kind of like a calabash. Um, what I do is the calabash has a, uh, a hole right in the middle of the bowl at the bottom and the tobacco gets funneled into that hole and it plugs up. And so this one isn't so bad, but some other ones where I had the, uh, this portion of the bowl very short, there was nothing to grab onto. So in order to take it out, you had to put your finger in the bowl. And when it's loaded with tobacco, that's a problem. So what I did instead of uh, drilling one hole in the middle, I drilled two holes and I bring them out at the side so you never have to really worry about them uh, fogging up. Now when you insert the bowl, do those holes have to be oriented in a certain place? Or? Yes. Well, they don't have to be. I choose to make them. Okay. And what they are is they're oriented toward the front. All right, so that's also threaded, so when you screw them in, it's going to place See, them yeah. by where they're supposed to be. Yeah. And you put it in the front so the smoke has to stay in the chamber as long as possible. This one's the same idea. I really do prefer the larger chambers. I think they work a lot better. When I first uh, made one of these, I wasn't certain they were going to work. Uh, my philosophy about this uh, double chambered pipe was you have to have a distance from the heat source, the tobacco chamber, then the shank, the stem. And that distance was necessary for the smoke to move around, to become free moving. But you also have to have an absolute volume, and again, that's 60 to 80 cubic centimeters. You make some pipes, and this is probably uh, 400 cubic centimeters, so that'll, that's motorcycle size, right? Motorcycle engine. As big as my first car. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so the third quality that was important to me was the heat source, the bowl, was separated from the chamber, the cooling chamber. Now with these Captain Warrens and the Calabash, the bowl, the heat source, is inside the cooling chamber. And I didn't think it was going to work, but it turns out it does. They, uh, they smoke very uh, cool and smooth, really. I also made another pipe. I think I had this one uh, written up in a magazine. I call this a pocket pipe. And it's called pocket pipes that fits in your pocket. I designed this here, in fact, three years ago. It was uh, the Sunday after uh, the show, and I sat down with some people in the, 
in front of the bar outside, and we designed this pipe. This is uh, kind of like an air compression fitting. And it's also got a second chamber, just like the other pipes. The second chamber on this one isn't really big enough to get to give you the cooling qualities, but it does uh, collect moisture. And that makes it nice. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a piece of ingenuity. Yeah, it was kind of fun. <clears throat> Call it uh, the Holy Hand Grenade of Antioch. And with that, you can find Anthony's stuff at acmewoodturning.com. Thanks, Andy. We appreciate your time.